Hey guys, Zer here. Today I'm playing Choose Your Own Nightmare, How I Became a Freak. This is a game that's been requested by several people, so I won't single out any one person for this one. For those of you who have seen my other videos in this series, this will be pretty much the same thing you've come to expect. But if you haven't, this is something that's become a kind of tradition on my channel. Every year since 2009, I've played a Choose Your Own Nightmare game for Halloween, so this will be my fifth year doing it. This time is kind of special, which I'll get more into at the end of the video. But the main thing to keep in mind is that these games aren't meant to be taken seriously, and they're just for fun to get into the spirit of the season. Now just like with Curse of the Mummy, I was only able to find the DVD version of this game, so I had to record it in the same roundabout way. It's not perfect, but for how silly these games tend to be, I think it'll work out. So with all that said, let's get started. Now this one has the same art style as the Evil Pen Pal, which is very different from all the other games. But also, the main character in this one actually narrates his own thoughts and actions a lot, so you won't be hearing me quite as much as usual this time around. At 2 o'clock, dude, really? It's even later than I get up these days, even on the weekends. And that's bad enough. You can see the Evil Pen Pal poster there, too. I woke up Saturday morning with the world at my feet. It was one of those mornings when you knew everything was going to be alright. Morning? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, dude. And then fate jumps on your back like an evil monkey and rides you into insanity. Wait for it. Ah! Yeah, that's an appropriate response to that. I was ugly in an epic way. A monster. A freak. What had happened? The night before I looked like a normal kid. The night before was good. And then I got beaten with an ugly stick. Ooh, that's what you looked like before, dude? Maybe this was an improvement. Just saying. Hey, baby. What's your name? Can I get your number? That's my friend, Jen. She's not like other chicks. She likes horror movies and skateboards and can throw better than most guys. Oh yeah. Now I know what you're thinking, and just cut that out right now. We're just friends, that's all. Giggity giggity goo. You people are disgusting. Well shit, I guess he's got me there. We were just hanging out at the local carnival when Jen said, Hey, let's check out the freak tent. And I said, cool. You know what's not cool, dude? Giving that thumbs up like you did just then. Nerd! I'm just kidding. I'm a nerd too, anyways. Oh, I really wanted to see some freaks. Jen really likes freaks. We could just go in anyway. And I was feeling frisky. What can I say? That's some idea, Merrick. Come on. Okay. Frisky? Really, dude? Come on now. You'll actually notice uh, the voice actress for Jen there is the same one as Beth from the Halloween party. Which I guess makes sense to reuse voice actors just for convenience, but it's kind of weird for me to hear the same voice for a different character. Got some weird shit in here. That's like a mutant Rattata gone wrong. Fangs like that though, Hyper Fang would one hit KO anything. Sorry, I've been playing Pokemon a lot lately. That looks like something that should be Silver Surfer's dog. Wow, sweet mirror. Yeah! There was something kind of weird about looking in that mirror. A feeling of cold. A feeling of being watched by something <laughs> alien. <laughs> Look at you, Timbo! Someone up and whooped you with an ugly stick. Yep, that's what I said earlier. Huh? huh? Ah oh, shit, abort, abort! Bail out! I gotta give them some credit here. They actually get away just fine. Nobody trips, nobody falls, nobody does the typical bullshit of getting caught. So, I guess 
props to them for doing something right. So I guess maybe something that mirror did changed me into a monster. The real question is, how do I change back? Tim, Timmy, what are you screaming about? Mom, no! Mom, no! I'm, I'm wrapping presents. Oh, that's disgusting. I like her reaction. Oh! What to do? I just scared my mom half to death. Would she understand my situation? I guess she would. She'd know it was me. Sure. John! John! Get the gun! There's a monster in Tim's room! Then again, to hide or not to hide? That's the question. John, quickly! It's going to abduct me and eat my head! Wherever you are, monster, you watch out, because I used to be a Marine. Oh man, we got an ex-Marine in the house. The used to be a Marine? Dude must let himself go, I guess. Looks like it was a good idea to hide. Then again, maybe I'm underestimating them. I mean, they could help. Should I come out of the closet and talk to them? It was right here. Right here. Maybe it's gone downstairs. Oh, I hope it doesn't take the good silver. Well, I can't see anything. Really? The silver? That's what you're worried about? How about the fact that your kid is missing? What kind of parents are these? Maybe we should look outside. You sure about all this? I love my dad. My dad's a nice guy. But he's kind of a nut. I figure I'll just let him settle down before we have a family and freak bonding moment. Maybe the little monster has gone downstairs. Let's check. Okay. My dad's a nice guy. He's just a little trigger happy with his shotgun. And listen to them. Okay. Like they're just going for a stroll. Like it's just an everyday occurrence. What about the fact that your kid's missing? They're just like, ah, screw him. We can make another one. Who cares? I figured the only way I'd solve this problem was by myself. One thing I gotta give the uh, main character and his partner credits for is that they're actually two of the smarter ones. I don't really have any problems with them, even especially Jen. She's actually a very useful character. She's not stupid like all the other ones pretty much are in all the other games. To move about in this town, I would need a disguise. I'd also need transport. Now all I gotta figure out is what am I gonna do? It's time to go join the circus, what else? You freak? Oh man, time to check out his mad skateboarding skills. 2000 points! 360, 720, 1080! I had to figure out why I was like this. I had to know. What was going on? Why was I a freak? What can I do to change back and... Jen... Oh, man. If Jen sees me like this, she'll have aneurysm. Then again, maybe she could help. I think either way you're forced to join up with her, but that's okay because she's actually a useful character, so that's fine. A problem shared is a problem that two people have or something. Anyway... I'm sorry, what? Hey, Jen! Timbo! <laughs> what, are you auditioning for the next Friday the 13th movie? Not quite. What's with the mask, then? Did you get your first zip? It's an important moment for a young man. Oh. Put the mask back on. Sorry. What happened? I think it was that mirror at the carnival last night. It did something to me. I don't know what. Yeah, it put you on the elephant man trip in a big way, Sparky. Yeah, I know. I mean, you bring new ugg to ugly. Yes. You're a freak of the week, a, a monster, a creature of physical horror. A... Hey, do you want me to take my mask off again? All right, point taken. All right, so what are we going to do? We should get the cops to come down and interrogate everyone at the carnival. Yeah, or we could go to the carnival site ourselves. All right, your call, Groover. I mean, it is your face at stake here. The carnival or the cops? It was a tough call. Which would help to unfreak my face more? The scene of the crime or the long arm of the law? The cops are always useless in these games. Sweet, now we get twice the skateboarding action. Check out all that animation. Can you 
you guys hear my air quotes when I say animation? Yeah? Okay, good. Just making sure. Oh no. Now you know what I don't get? Why was there a carnival in some random residential lot anyways? This game gets into a little bit of a serious mode here. Why are they kicking that dog? I don't know. I look. That's why. Oh, yeah, well, oh. I guess some people just take out their fear of the unknown by being violent. They're kicking that dog because it's a freak. People do that kind of stuff all the time. Abusing something just because it's different. I can't allow that. <laughs> what are you, super freak? You don't have superpowers or anything, Tim. You're just ugly and we have to fix that. Not this mission of canine emancipation. <sighs> Harsh, but true. I felt morally obligated to the dog. But then again, I wanted to be my old self again. Come on, Tim, we gotta go. Maybe she was right. Maybe it was stupid to help the dog. But I don't know. Just because something's different isn't any reason to kick it. There's no way I'm gonna let those kids beat up on a dog. <sighs> I'm gonna let them beat up on me instead. Hey, leave the dog alone! He's funny looking and we don't like funny looking things. Well, your mirror must get a daily beating then, fathead. What you got a mask on for? Hockey season's over. Well, maybe I just feel like wearing a mask. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you guys should follow his example and save the world from the consequences of inbreeding. My daddy always said girls who smart off ought to be taught a lesson. Yeah? Well, my daddy taught me how to be a black belt, you brick with eyes. Right, you're dead! Yeah. Right in the F, because he's a failure. Hey, guys. Want to see something really scary? <laughs> Slick move, Merrick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, he's kind of cute in a twisted way. Yeah. I wish the same could be said for me. Too bad he doesn't have three heads. Hey, come back! Maybe we should follow him. Call him Cerberus. Could the dog help me out or prove to be another dead end? Was it time for the police? It's getting away, Sparky. Should we follow? Okay, let's go to the cops. Alright, this is a stick-up. Put all the money in the bag. Uh, oops, this isn't the bank. Hey, it's you! Hey, it's him, Lynch! Ooh! I'm Tim Merrick! It was at this point I started to suspect this wasn't such a good idea. It's Jason Voorhees, the Camp Crystal Lake killer! Huh? No! No, no, Specter, it was... <laughs> Only a movie! Spectre, it was only Friday the 13th! Uh, oops. No! Now that's an epic screen. Hey, but look! You're no longer a freak? That's a small price to pay. Subject is 13-year-old Tim Merrick. Now I know what you're thinking. Cause of death, gunshot wounds to the chest. You're thinking, hey, how could Tim be talking to us if the guy's a stiff? The answer's as simple as it is horrible. Whatever power that mirror had did more than turn me into a temporary freak. It also made me a prisoner of my own course. So no matter what my body goes through, I can still feel! Now, this is one of the most disturbing endings I've ever seen. For, first of all, he gets shot by the cops, just in cold blood. And then second, he's just trapped in his dead body. Now he can feel himself just getting cut up. That's horrible. This is made for kids? Anyways, this is the bad ending that I'm going to show you guys. As usual, I'll be showing you one bad and one good. But rather than splitting it up, I think I'm just going to have this all as one video. So I'm just going to cut ahead to going back to the decision to follow the dog. And we'll go that route instead. Yeah, let's follow it. All right. All right, more skateboarding. My favorite. The dog took us through strange parts of town. It ran us in circles and dead ends, almost as if it realized it was being followed or didn't quite know where it was going itself. Or maybe they just wanted an excuse to reuse animations. Laziness. Huh? Let's go. 
I don't know, man. I don't trust this dark alleyway. Never mind your face. I'd be more worried about getting shanked, but... Okay. I was about to call the whole thing off, Lamp. I found the magical land of drug dealers and hookers. So what do you want to do? Well, I was thinking we should just go in and find the freak tent. Yeah, that's brilliant. What do you mean? Well, there's obviously some very weird stuff going on in here. Walking straight in and saying, excuse me, which way to the freak tent would be totally insane? You're wrong. I think maybe they don't know what's going on. The mirror's our enemy, not the carnival. Look, it's your choice, Sparky, all right? But if we end up getting hacked to pieces by strange satanic carnival freaks, I'm gonna kick your butt. Personally, I think we should just sneak around the back and check it out. So... Should I sneak around the back, or just go up to the freak tent? I mean, Jen is pretty paranoid, but she's right sometimes. Come on. Okay, we'll sneak around the back if it'll make you happy. It'll make me happy not to be sliced and diced by some disgruntled carnival worker who snapped due to the pressures of an uncaring society. Man, you think too much. I just see things others don't. They call that insanity in some countries. Yeah, well, I'll make sure not to go there. <laughs> See, and this is why she's such an awesome character. Not only is she useful, she has her own witty comebacks. I don't even have to do the work. She does it for me. They actually go really well together. Hey, wait. Do you hear something? Uh-uh. Well, listen. Let's check it out. Okay. Forget that. Let's get some popcorn. Five-finger discount. I'm hungry. There was something not quite right about those clowns. I could spot it right away. Yes, it was a pity that little human was deformed by the Fulber rays. Do you think he means you? I don't know. <laughs> We've tried to locate it, but as yet have had no luck. I would suggest it is on its way here. Even its preteen Neanderthal intellect could work out something of its predicament. Why does he keep calling me it? We must be aware. If he is found, he must be exterminated. The grand invasion is almost complete. <laughs> <gasps> Man, they are some bad clowns. We gotta get out of here. Wait, we gotta find out what they're talking about. <sighs> Key words, Merrick. Exterminate and invasion. These are alien creatures with a vendetta against humanity. Now let's get out of here with our internal organs intact. But I want to be normal again. Yeah, well, better to be a live freak than a dead supermodel. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're not walking around with a face like the inside of a stomach. Okay, point taken. But I still think we should check out the freak tent first, like we were gonna do before. These clowns are beasts from beyond the stars. Look, I know you're worried, but we're gonna stay. Uh, I think that mirror warped your brain as well as your head. Never can tell. Okay, that's a little disturbing. What did he say? I don't know. They're talking weird. Hey, check out the way they're walking. Jen was right. Not only did it sound like they were gargling a bucket of phlegm, but their bodies started to stoop and condense. To me, it looked like the guy in the front was walking like he just crapped his pants. I really don't like clowns. The movie It ruined them for me. I'm not really scared of them, but just... No. Kinda creepy. Send in the clowns, dork. See, she does it work for me. I didn't have to say anything. Do you want a balloon? Come on, let's go! It's a pretty balloon. Do they float? Oh yes, Georgie. They float. And when you're down here with me, you'll float too! Ah! And then he eats Georgie.
Oh, check it out. He's evolving. Listen to me, ugly boy. I can't believe this. Truth is out there, Sparky. Shut up, Jen. Smirk. <laughs> Come on, man. Follow him in there. Don't be a chicken. Leroy! Where have they gone? I don't know. I had to find out. Oh no, Merrick, forget it. We're gonna get out of here and call the FBI, the Army, the CIA, and, 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 and anyone else who has big guns and no tolerance for giant invading mirror monsters. Maybe I was being crazy thinking I should do it. But then, to look normal again, it could be my only chance. Do it, do it. I'm gonna do it. You're insane. Look at me. Would you like to spend the rest of your life looking like this? Oh, Timmy, you don't look that bad. You d Ugh. Sorry. Well, I still don't think you should go. I know you're worried, Jan, but sometimes a guy just has to take the situation in hand and solve it. Yeah, I'll believe this macho act more when you've gone through puberty, Merrick. Oh, just don't get killed, okay? When I get back, hopefully I'll be prettier than ever. You wish. Later. So I did it. I took one small step for man. Made a giant leap straight into the darkest nightmare of all mankind. I like how he doesn't even break his legs or anything there. And really, this isn't that bad. It's not even dark at all. <gasps> and for some reason, no one gave me a return ticket. Nope, this is a one-way trip. Sometimes I wonder if existence is just some elaborately cruel joke played out for an unseen audience's entertainment. Oh, I see what you did there with the whole fourth wall. You broke it. No, I really find it hard to believe that he can hang on like that. It was at that moment I promised myself I would do anything to stop these creatures from invading our dimension. I would... Yeah, you were saying, dude. What the... You're toast. Oh, come on, Merrick. Just get pretty and let's get out of here. Oh, man. Should I go after him? Or should I get help? Time to go home. Oh. It's now or never. Okay. Okay. Time to go. Time to do it. Or like time to die. And why would you jump in head first? Wouldn't it make more sense to just jump in normally? This was it. I knew this would be the end. Ripped apart like a fly by an army of giant alien frog monsters to die like a rat caught in a slimy trap. And then. Hey there, Tim. Whoa. Time to go bark Simpson on our asses. Just like the Simpsons arcade game. Get out of here now! How? <gasps> the mirror's gone! Oh man! Maybe we should jump where I came through. Maybe, maybe the doorway's invisible. Um, we could ride this mushroom thing up. Just do something. The mirror or the mushroom? Sounds like a rock in a hard place. How about we just eat the mushroom? <laughs> Come on, get on this mushroom thing. Uh oh. They're smokers from Left 4 Dead. Except they seem to be very bad at it, so that's a good thing for us. Go back to playing a hunter! So do you know where this thing is taking us? Well, not really. All I know is, is that we're getting really high. We floated for what seemed like hours, but was probably minutes. 
Time is hard to judge in a dimension without sun. Eventually, we came to the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What? What is that? I don't know. Really? This is the weirdest thing you've ever seen? It's not that weird. You need to get out more, dude. Here comes the best line. And there it was. It was a board that depicted frog monsters coming through mirrors and killing humans. Mirrors that gave off strange rays and vibrations. Vibrations that caused mutations. And so I knew. Here it comes. That's how I became a freak. The aliens use the mirror as a portal into our world. And I just got in the way. Yeah, but it doesn't show how you get changed back. Maybe I can. Jen, behind you. <laughs> what do we do? Go through the mirror. Which one? Neither one's really inviting. Look, you gotta remember these are designed for an alien intellect. They view the world in a different way. Yeah, that hint doesn't really help you decide. I tried the bright mirror the first time and I died. Um, Jen? We have to go now. Let's go! Where do you think you're going? See, look at that. And so, we were back. We're back! What about those things? Huh? Should have done this a long time ago. Aw, oh, give the man a hand. to see you, Merrick. I'm back. I'm back. The stud puppy's <laughs> back. I'm so happy I could kiss you. Ooh. If I didn't fear boy cootie so much. Ah, uh, go ahead. Kiss me anyway. Mm, no. Ooh, shut down. C plus for effort, though. Mm, come on, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, stopped an alien invasion. Yeah, we'll just call it a day. Everyday occurrence. No biggie. Any of you guys ever see the movie Idle Hands? Ooh. And so that's my story. Every word of it true. We uncovered a race of aliens, stopped them from their plans of world domination, <laughs> and regained my boyish good looks. Sometimes life can be a harsh and painful rock in your shoe, but sometimes it can be a surreal adventure. These are the times I live for. Ugh, the way he ends the game with that like monologue of his is just, it's terrible. Anyways, that is Choose Your Own Nightmare, How I Became a Freak. And I have to say, I was kind of surprised by how good this one was. Good in the sense that the main thing that it has going for it are the two characters, the main character and your partner. In all the other games, as far as I recall, I don't really have a problem with the main character. I mean, that's the one you play as. But it's always the partner that was an issue. In most of the other games, your partner is just either really dumb, really scared, or just completely worthless. But in this one, Jen is awesome. She's a badass. She actually fights off the aliens. She has some sense. And she has a bunch of witty comebacks. It's awesome. So, I was actually kind of surprised by this one. And it has some really awesome things like get shot by a cop and he just goes oops like you can't do that you can't just shoot a kid and be like oops okay i guess i guess it's fine um and i think actually there's a couple of different endings where you in the end get shot so it's actually it's 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 horrible again like this was made for kids and that's terrible and awesome at the same time but anyways um i showed you one bad and one good ending like i usually do i'm not even sure how many good endings there are in this game there may be two because I explored most of the branches, and most of them can lead up to this point. This is, I think, like, the main good ending. Um, and there's just a bunch of variations on a lot of bad endings, but, you know, whatever. Let's let the credits, uh, the credits, the credits finish out here. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's it. Once again, that was Choose Your Own Nightmare, How I Became a Freak. And like I said at the beginning, this one was kind of special because... This is the last Choose Your Own Nightmare game for me to do. I've done all the other games in the series now. 
I mean, there were a lot of books for the series, but these were all the games that they made for the PC and the DVDs. I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Uh, I, I've been searching for any other ones that have possibly been made, but I think that's it. I've done The Halloween Party, Night of the Werewolf, Curse of the Mummy, The Evil Pen Pal, Bite of the Vampire, and now How I Became a Freak. I think it's just those six games. Um, unless there's any others that I happen to not know about, that's going to be it. So what does that mean for future Halloweens for next year and potentially the year after that, as long as I'm still making videos? Well, I still have other routes to show for some of the other games. And one of the, I think one of the years I ended up having to do that because I didn't have a new game at the time. So I just showed some extra routes for the Halloween party. So at the very least, I have some routes for the other games that I can still show for future Halloweens. And theoretically, once those are all done, that would probably be it. But we'll see how it goes when we get there. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a safe Halloween, whatever you guys are doing. Have fun, and I'll see you guys next time.